The plague Kripith is one of two infested Zaw strikes that deal innate viral damage. It was available as part of this year's Plague Star Rewards, and it's not coming back for Knights of Nabaroos. Out of all Zaw strikes, it has the highest critical chance, 2% higher than the Sefin and 4% higher than other Zaw strikes, and the highest critical multiplier of 2.2 times. With the Plague Kripith you can make either a Rapier, with 2.5 meters range, or a Polearm, with a 3 meter range. Both of these are good options with good stances, though the polearm is better for dealing with large groups of enemies, and the rapier is more focused on a single enemy. The rapier has one stance, vulpine mask, that is considered one of the best stances because of its high damage per second and forced slash procs. Polearms have three stances. Shimmering blight is the most commonly used one, but bleeding willow has the exact same regular combos and the polarity will match the Zaw's stance polarity. The difference is in the block combos. Otherwise, these are very fluid and powerful stances to use. The third stance, Twirling Spire, has a bit less damage per second, but it inflicts a forced slash proc with 200% damage and lifts enemies. Remember that the lifted effect also counts for condition overload. Personally, I find this one a bit awkward to use since it will fling enemies away from my attacks. The grip that you choose also determines the speed to damage ratio of your Zaw. In general, I'd suggest choosing speed over damage, but Shimmering Blight and Bleeding Willow can have too much speed. So if you're using any kind of melee speed buff, make a slower Zaw. The Zaw links also determine how much speed and damage your Zaw will have, but also its critical and status chance. I wouldn't recommend choosing links that reduce your speed, unless you're planning on using attack speed buffs. If you're making a critical Zaw, Take the Vargit 2J links, which will grant your Zaw 36% critical chance. If you're making a status Zaw, take the Equana 2J links, which will grant you 32% status chance and 14% critical chance. I wouldn't recommend building this Zaw for status chance though. For mixed combo builds, the Vargit and Equana J2 links are the best choice since they have fairly balanced status and critical chance. As always, I have a couple of different build-in configurations to show you. First, I only have one rapier build because my other rapier is built for my Kripith Riven. I have the Vargit Ruang 2 links on this one, but Vargit J2 would be better. This is a standard combo build, though I have primed Fury instead of Berserker because of the low base speed. With Sacrificial Steel the weapon has over 90% critical chance before Blood Rush kicks in. I have it built for corrosive damage just because I find that it works a bit better than pure viral. Moving on to my polearms, I have the same build on a polearm with higher base speed, but same stats otherwise. Next, I have a polearm with higher base status chance, so the build has heat and primed fever strike. And lastly, I have a critical polearm with low base speed. Using the Vargit 2J links would be better in this case. 
I'm using Primed Fury again to make up for it. Since the weapon has low status chance, it works better with a primer. If you're using a primer, you can just toss out the elemental mods and build for critical damage instead. And I have a build for high level corpus, that uses only toxin damage and primed smite corpus. This would work better on a za with higher status chance. So the Plague Krippith is one of the best Zaw strikes, especially if you like polearms or rapiers. Sadly, the Zaws don't perform quite as well as they did before the melee nerfs, they are mostly outperformed by prime weapons and explosive primaries. Still, if you want to use Exodia Hunt or Contagion, the Plague Krippith is a good choice. 